guys, welcome back. And welcome back to me. It's been a little bit since I've been down here, about a week. Um, and uh, this is a really special trip. It's actually the, uh, the last time that I'll be down here before I am a dad. <laughs> I know we've been talking about this for, for a while now, but we're, we're having a baby girl um, and she's coming in less than a week. Actually, if you're watching this, um, she's already here and we'll definitely be having some pictures of that. But at least as far as I'm concerned right now, um, this is my last time down at the cabin before I am a, a father, which is just wild. Look how good Ellie looks. She got a little haircut yesterday. And uh, man, <laughs> it does wonders. She's always a beautiful dog, but when she gets a haircut, she just looks terrific. Also, if you guys take a look, I finally put a jacket on her. Uh, we've had this jacket for a while and I put it on her, not because she necessarily needs it to stay warm, but um, today we're gonna have a little mixture of rain and snow and so you know I'm gonna help her out a little bit why not the plan is gonna be to make a little bit of lunch and then we're going to install a brand new power station into the cabin I'm really really excited about it uh, but first I'm so starving so let's make some soup a little jambalaya today. <laughs> Thank you for this food and this time in the woods, the last trip before our daughter is born. Amen. I think we've got three types of meats, chicken, sausage, and ham. Snow's definitely starting to come down. And man, take a look at how good this tarp is working at keeping our wood dry. So I'm gonna bring some wood in. I want some stuff that's gonna last a little longer. This isn't split and that should keep it simmering for a while. I'm gonna drop these off and then come back out. This snow is just incredible right now. that beautiful.
Yes, that's exactly what I was hoping for. As you can see, it's just simmering in the coals there. That keeps the heat pumping out, but it doesn't roast us out of here and uh, cuts down on the wood we use as well. All right, let's uh, set up this new power station. I've kind of decided to step up my game a little bit with a really, really nice battery that's not only user friendly, but allows you to customize your experience as well. This is the PowerMax 100 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery by Dr. Prepare. Let's dive into what this battery does and what we're gonna do with it. So the first thing I noticed when I opened it up is how we've got this little meter up here, which allows us to see how much juice we have inside this battery. I've got it fully charged right now. It's got um, these posts up here, which would allow us to hook up an inverter to it. But also you can take this accessory and just drop it right in to your battery and it turns it into a portable power station. I can build this into a more elaborate power system here with built-in solar panels that maybe I mount to the roof and I, I hope to do that one day. For the time being, while I continue to add things and build out that system, I have everything that I need to use this to charge it with my portable solar panels and to power the things that I use here in the cabin. All we have to do with this is slide it into our shelf back here. Next, we are going to plug in our devices. So we've got our lights here. I'm gonna plug those into one of the USB outputs right there. This cord uh, charges our phone and our iPad and stuff like that. So we're gonna plug that in up there. And then to fire her on, all we have to do is press this button up here. Oh yeah. Yep, she is working. So there you have it guys. Thank you Dr. Prepare for this battery and for sponsoring this video. I'm super stoked to have it in the cabin and to continue to build out our off-grid system. If you're interested in the PowerMax battery, you can find links in the description of this video. And uh, I think you're gonna love what you find. Realize that I haven't really shown you guys the books that we have on our bookshelf here. Um, I tried to pick ones that would fit well. This one here I really, really like. It's called Don't Sweat the Small Stuff. It's basically just a bunch of little tidbits on life, just a way to keep things into perspective. This is another really good one. Um, it's The World According to Mr. Rogers. It's kind of a similar deal. It's important things to remember. Um, things that Fred Rogers said, someone I really, really admire. This one's really, really great, Cabin Tripping. It's a book all about cabins. And so it's a lot of really, really good inspiration, especially to me as someone who uh, builds cabins most important book we have on the shelf, that's for sure. And then just a few other cabin books. Um, I really, really like this one. I'd rather be lost at the cabin. And I love how on the back it just says, leave your worries behind. This is gonna be a good one for our daughter, for sure. So yes, those are the books. Oh my gosh, you guys, we have a bald eagle. I think two of them uh, flying around up here. Oh my gosh, where are they? Come back! <laughs> it's up there. It's a bald eagle. Oh my gosh. Wow, that's incredible. This is so cool and so rare because where we are uh, in Minnesota, like we, we don't really see these guys. You see them a lot up north, but we're, we're closer down to the cities. Here he is, here he is, holy cow. There he goes, there he goes. It's massive. Did you see the eagle? It's gone now. Bummer. <sighs> Ellie 
is literally just sitting out here taking in the view. You want to come in, Al? You want to come inside? No? Okay, you can stay out there. It's amazing. I wonder what she's thinking about. You just enjoying the snow? Oh, you're a sweet dog, Al. You enjoy that snow. <laughs> what? You ready to come in? Come on. Yeah, there you go. All right, come on in. Of course, we're going to be trying to build a fire again when the snow is starting to pick up. Just my luck. I don't mind having the fire while the snow is going. In fact, I kind of enjoy it, but it doesn't make, you know, starting the fire any easier. Look how buried our bench is. I don't think I feel like digging that one out. I think perhaps we'll either dig this one out or that one. Maybe that one this time. up there look at that this is just wildlife day <laughs> holy cow the one continued over across there and here come the rest didn't mean to break up the family I'm glad you're all back together though Hey buddy, hey buddy, did you lose your family, did you lose your family, they're around here somewhere, you know that.
The other deer went that way. Wonder why that guy's separated. The good news is, is this property is small and they hang out here, so they'll 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 meet up again very shortly. Things ready to go. Oh yeah. Oh, that looks bomb. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna dish some of it into a bowl. Oh yeah. The idea with this is that uh, you can eat it with chips or with, you know, a utensil. I'm gonna dig in with the chips. Solid chips. First bite, we're gonna take a nice piece of steak there. You can see the cheese is just like oozing off of it. Phenomenal. Well, fire's stocked. Dinner was good. Snow's coming down. Life is good. Allie, what? You gotta see her little tail wag. Can we see your tail wag? Oh, hold on. Yeah, there's your little tail wag. <laughs> no one can prepare you for the emotions that you feel when you're becoming a parent right <laughs> oh i'm not gonna neglect this little baby no you're a good baby Good morning. <sighs> 
absolutely blew it with the fire. <laughs> sometimes, like, um, oh, man, sometimes I just don't feel like getting up to stock it, but then you really, really pay for it in the morning because it, it's cold. So before I get my coffee going, I got to, uh, got to get this thing going. fire going made all the difference. Should we go check out the snow? The, uh, the woodshed lean-to thingy is always a good indicator okay so we got like an inch and a half overnight <laughs> guess we better put the tripod away well guys with that i think i'm gonna end the video um i gotta pack out of here pretty quickly uh, i was fortunate to get to spend this time down here especially with our man our baby coming in less than a week um, I'm going to put up some pictures of our baby girl to end this video, um, which is really strange because I have yet to meet her in the present moment as I film this. But um, all I can say is life is just a beautiful ride. It's crazy. It's got its ups and downs. But man, there's just so much to be grateful for. And uh, we're grateful for our family. We're grateful for you. And uh, just thank you so much for being a part of this journey with us. Uh, before I put up these pictures, I just want to let you know that we're going to continue to film videos because um, A, we want to, and, and B, it's a part of how we support ourselves. And so we really appreciate you guys watching. We're going to do our best to make them um, fun and adventurous and entertaining in this interim season while uh, baby grows and uh, while Riley uh, recovers. Um, so your, your support means a lot. We really appreciate it. So stay tuned for weekly videos. Um, they're going to be fun and, uh, yeah, enjoy pictures of our baby girl. See you next time.